What's up everyone, my name is Jason Turley, and today I'm back with another problem that I'm facing. Uh, like many of you, I'm trying to read a New York Times article, however, I'm being blocked with the subscription screen, with this login, create an account screen. It won't let me navigate any further and read this article. I've run out of free trial, I've run out of access, so I'm going to show you how to easily bypass this using two different web browsers. Starting off using Chrome, because that's one of the more popular browsers. So I can click here and go down to settings. It's gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna enter JavaScript in the search menu. Now the word JavaScript doesn't pop up anywhere, but you can see here it's highlighted that there's two results under site settings. So click on that and then scroll down until you see JavaScript. JavaScript is a programming language that most websites run on. So I want to disable that. That's that's the code that is popping up and causing that login screen. So I'm going to say don't allow sites to use JavaScript. Now, fair warning, this might break certain websites that you're trying to do, especially if they use any type of like location data or GPS. If you wanted to fine tune it just for certain websites, you can add that here. But I'm going to disable it on all sites. So check that button. And then when I go back here and refresh the page, that prompt is no longer there. I can scroll down, I can read this article, and it's not gonna ask me to log in. You can see certain pictures don't load, so it's not ideal, it's not perfect, but I have all the text, so it works for this article. Let me back out of this, and let me go to something else, make sure it works all across the site. Nice, so that's how you can bypass this on Chrome. Let me show you how to do it on a better web browser. All right, guys, that's how you do it using Google Chrome. Here's how you do it using the Brave web browser. So I'm on the same site. I'm clicking on that same exact article, and maybe I can scroll down just a tad, just a little bit, but now I'm greeted with that same login screen. Well, an awesome feature about Brave is I don't even need to go into the settings. I can just click on this lion icon up here. You can see that it's blocking 20 ads and trackers click on advanced controls and then click on block scripts. I click that, it automatically refreshes the page and now I can scroll and read this article with no problem whatsoever. Click out of here and go to a different article and it still works. I'm no longer blocked with that paywall with that subscription screen. So there you have it guys. Um, I prefer Brave. I think it's just a little bit more sleek, a little bit quicker, it takes up less resources than Chrome, but this works for any major web browser that you have. Just go into the settings and disable JavaScript. Take it easy. See you guys in the next video.